Hey guys, it's Katarina here. Welcome on this short yoga lesson. First of all, I would love to wish you nice and happy new year because it's first day of the new year. So I hope you will create the new year exactly how you want because how you know already the we are creating our lives. So just be focused on you and create the best year ever. Okay, so let's back to the yoga. What we're gonna do today? I wanted to show you a little nice sequences of the yoga that is gonna stretch your body. Because a lot of people try to make a new habit from the new year and I think it's really important to do step by step. So nothing hard, just easy flow yoga lesson. Uh, if you find some position hard, just uh, modificate them. You can also sit in the child's pose or do other uh, pose, which is good for you and venting for other. So let's go. Let's go. <laughs> so okay, just uh, sit on the on the back on your mat. And how you know already, I really focusing and pay attention on the breath. So for just a second, close your eyes. Release your shoulders down, belly in, and straight strengthen your spine all the way up. Reach the spine, release shoulders, close your eyes, and we're gonna do two or three breaths. So inhale, exhale. You can also do through the mouth. Inhale one more. Exhale. And one more. Inhale. And exhale. You can slowly open the eyes, look at around you. <laughs> Great. So softly squeeze the belly in and also make a contact with your sit bones with your heels reach your spine all the way up and with inhale reach the arms above your head inhale shoulders down belly in lower ribs also a little bit in push them in inhale exhale put the palms together and slowly place them in front of your chest exhale okay Put your arms on the mat in front of you. Inhale, reach, 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 how much you can, your spine. And then exhale, release forehead on the mat. Inhale, exhale. Make sure that your sit bones is still on the heels. And at the same time, reaching your torso forward. Breathe in and out. Like you have to feel like someone like pushing you back from your hips and something like pulling you forward. And that you gonna create with your breath. So inhale, exhale, feel the stretch on your body. Okay, next inhalation. Lift the head up, also your chest, and slowly we are going into the tabletop position. Okay, I will put my hair together. Find your tabletop position. And we're gonna go through that. So, make sure that your hands are in the same level with your arms and your knees are same level with your hips. Shoulders like roll down, belly in, uh, reach your hips back. Inhale, exhale, stay. With next inhalation, open the chest. Inhale, open the chest. Exhale, round your spine under. Your chin is going towards your neck. One more, inhale. Open the chest, belly, like your core is still engaged. Exhale, roll. 
for the free time. Inhale. Open the chest. Belly in. Exhale. Round your spine. Okay, inhale, slowly come back to the neutral tabletop position. Inhale, exhale. Take your toes under and sit on your heels first. Keep your hands on the floor or on the mat and just push the hands into the mat. Belly in. Inhale, exhale. You should feel nice stretch on your feet. One more. Inhale. Exhale. Okay. If you feel comfortable, you can slowly go all the way up with your weight and sit properly on your heels. Make sure that your pelvic floor is still engaged, your belly is in and reach your spine all the way up. Breathe in and out. If it's too much pain, just stay on the with the hands on the floor. One more inhale. Exhale. Very good. Slowly come back to the tabletop position again and release your feet on the floor. Exactly like that. Great. Tuck your toes again and we're gonna reach first downward facing dog. So reach your hips back and slowly up. Breathe in and out. Again, roll down your shoulders. Belly in, ribs in. If you are not on your feet, like the heels is not on the mat, it's okay. Stay like that. Just imagine that your heels is pushing onto the mat. Breathe in and out. Reach, reach, reach. And step by step, you're going to reach there. Important is that you're gonna reach your hips back and up. Breathe, breathe, breathe. It's really important. With inhalation, look at forward and do some steps or maybe jump, depend on you, towards to your hands. Inhale, reach your spine all the way up in the halfway. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Strengthen your spine, strengthen your pelvic, roll the shoulders. Maybe you can put also the hands on the, mm, on the shins or on the thighs. Breathe in and slowly exhale for full release. Very good. One more. Inhale. Exhale. Bend the knees and slowly, vertebra after vertebra, slowly come up. Leave the arms around your torso and just release, open your chest. Breathe in and out. Great. Now with inhalation, reach your arms up. Breathe, 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 shoulders down, little bit bend the knee, really like a micro, bend the knees, reach, put the palms together, you can also do back bend if you feel for, exhale, forward, forward, inhale, halfway, halfway, lengthen your spine, bend the knees, put the hands on the floor and step back, with the right and left leg into the plank pose. If you don't feel for the plank pose, just put and bend the knees on the floor. Exhale, Chaturanga, all the way down on your belly. Put the hands, where is your ribs? Inhale, open the chest, the cobra pose. Stay here. Inhale. Exhale, one more. Inhale, open the chest, exhale, put the forehead on the mat, put the, <coughs> put the hands, <laughs> again, <laughs> put the hands on your lower ribs and inhale, open the upper facing dog, inhale, 
And exhale, downward facing dog. Exhale. Breathing and out. One more. Inhale. Exhale. Slowly look forward and step with your right leg forward between your hands. Put the left knee on the floor and inhale. Reach the arms all the way up. Lower lunge. Breathe in and out. Shoulders down. If it's too much, just put the hand on the knee. Belly in. Reach, reach, reach. Open your chest. Inhale, exhale, shoulders down. Again, squeeze a little bit like the belly in. You know, it's just like tuck your hips, tuck your tailbone. Breathe in and out. You should to feel nice stretch on your left hip. And exhale slowly, come back and reach your hips all the way back. Inhale and exhale. If it's this too much difficult, there is so many variation. You can take your blocks. If you have not them, I really recommend to buy them because it's not too much investment, but it's really, really helpful. And you can nicely stretch your hamstring belly in and you want to kind of like pivot your pelvic forward. Breathe in and out, shoulders more down, belly in. Your leg, it's still engaged. It's gonna be more easily for you if it's like gonna be engaged. If not, the pain, uh, it's different. It's m too much like uncomfortable. <laughs> so feel that. If you are all right without the uh, blocks it's absolutely okay and just try to keep all your torso forward inhale exhale slowly come back put the hands on the floor take your toe and put the right like back to the plank pose inhale exhale chaturanga inhale open the chest Exhale, downward facing dog. Breathe in, breathe out. Inhale slowly, step forward with the left leg, left feet. Inhale and exhale, put the knee on the floor, engage your belly, inhale, reach the arms all the way up. Mm -hmm. First, you can find your position, you know, you can just stop, uh, make sure that your hips is square, reach the spine all the way up and then reach the arms up. And when you feel comfortable here, you know that your body is like a, like one line, I would say, then you can go slowly down, but you want to still Keep this part engaged. You don't want to do that. Yeah? So try to keep. Why we are doing that? <clears throat> because it's really healthy for your lower back, you know? And for the actually, it's going to be like your habit for the daily life. So for example, when you are sitting behind the desk, you will train now your body to sit exactly like that. Not like that or not like that, because you use all the muscles in your inner body. It means in your belly and also here on the lower back. So one more inhale, reach, reach, reach. And exhale, slowly go down and reach the back all the way, all the way back. Yeah, <laughs> breathe in and out, shoulders down. Reach, reach, reach. Like again, you want to pivot your pelvic floor forward or your hips forward. Breathe in and out. Try to keep your spine straight, shoulders down. Again, engage your leg, the left one. 
You want to also like feel that your hip, the right one, it's pushing you forward and the left one back, you know? So that's gonna be like really straight and engage. Breathe in and out. And again, breathe. Without the breathing, it's gonna be so hard. The breathe releasing your muscles properly. One more inhale. Exhale, slowly come back forward, put the hands on the floor, tuck your toes and step back to the plank position. Inhale, exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, open the chest. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, exhale, reach the hips back and up. Push the hands on the mat, shoulders down. Inhale, look forward, bend the knees and step or jump forward. Inhale, have a lengthen your spine. Exhale, forward, forward. And bend the knees and slowly vertebra after vertebra, slowly come up. Lift the arms along your body. Breathe in and out. Really good. Inhale, reach the arms all the way up. Put the palms together and exhale slowly forward, forward. Inhale. Halfway lengthen your spine. Exhale, arms on the floor. And this time step with the left and then right, like back into the plank position. And exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, open the chest. Exhale, downward facing dog. Breathe in and out. One more, inhale. And exhale, slowly bend the knee. And sit on your on your heels. Inhale, exhale. Close your eyes for a moment. Breathe in and out. And feel your body, how it's feel now and how the body felt before. Put your hands front of your chest. Inhale and exhale slowly. You can open the eyes and look around. Okay, so this was, this is this. And thank you so much. Namaste. I wish you a beautiful day or evening or whatever you have front of you. And this was really nice. What I am actually, that was the sequences what I using every morning, kind of. Sometimes it's different, depends on my body, what they want. But kind of it's the same what I am using every morning for, for just stretch my body quickly, effectively, you know. When I'm so uh, concentrated on my body, breath and what I am doing, how with every breath, my, my, for example, hips just releasing, then I feel absolutely different, you know? My body is more stretched, I feel more flexible, and also my brain, my mind, it's more flexible. So I really, really recommend to you to do that every day. And if you have uh, some question, just write me below and I will answer you, or you can also contact me on my email address, or you can find me on Instagram or Facebook. All information is uh, below on this text. And also, if you don't know how exactly brief or how to do that, I recommend you just make a, s a schedule with me, the 15 minutes call, and we can discuss about it. So yeah, every information is below this video and I can't wait to see you next time. Namaste guys.